Hello and welcome to Reading Readiness Program. Today we'll be learning about food chains and food webs. But before we dive into that, let's review what an ecosystem is. An ecosystem is a community of living and non-living things that interact with each other in a particular environment. So, in an ecosystem, it's all about who eats whom. This is where food chains come in. A food chain is a series of events in which one organism eats another and is then eaten by another organism. Let's start with a simple example. In a grassland ecosystem, the grass is eaten by a rabbit. Then, a fox eats the rabbit. In this case, the food chain is grass rabbit fox. Now, let's move on to food webs. A food web is a more complex way of showing how organisms are connected to one another in an ecosystem. Instead of just one straight line like a food chain, it's a web of connections. For example, in a forest ecosystem, a bird eats insects, but it also eats seeds from a tree. Meanwhile, a snake eats the bird, but it also eats rodents. In this case, the food web is much more complex than a simple food chain. So, why are food chains and food webs important? They show us how all living things in an ecosystem are connected and dependent on one another. If one species in a food chain or web is affected, it can impact the entire ecosystem. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Also, check out the food chains and food web game in the description below to test your knowledge. Thanks for watching and happy learning!